What's up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, aka Shadowblade, and as well as all the other names y'all know me by. But uh, I want to talk about something here, something that like, and like it's about a person in particular. I'm not gonna, you know, like knock the person that they're helping because the person that they're helping does deserve you know, the shot that they got, but also it kind of makes me see, you know, who's real and who's not. Now, don't get me wrong, like, you know, I've worked hard at what I do. Now, if you guys want to know who I'm talking about, it's my best friend and little brother, Ian Duxworth. Now, if you want to know what's going on with Ian, um, he got offered a spot on a magazine cover by a friend of mine, who you guys know I've known for many, many years now. His name is Eric Scrubwell. And don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at Ian at all, because Ian deserves that. You know, he's worked his ass off just like I have. But what pisses me off is the fact that, Eric, you went behind my back and offered him the shot without me. When you know damn well I worked my ass off just as hard as he has. I have busted my ass for 15 fucking years in this goddamn industry. Put out more music than anyone ever could in a fucking lifetime. I put out... A full fucking album in three fucking hours. Literally, last year, I put out a full-on album called Between the Lines within three fucking hours. On top of remaining on Reverb Nation's number one dubstep artist from 2010 up until last year. So what does that say about our friendship? I mean, the fact that you went behind my back and stabbed me in the back, knowing that I deserved that shot, knowing that I worked harder than anyone, knowing that I faced discrimination in the face and said, screw you to everybody that was discriminating against me, knowing that I dealt with hate my entire career, knowing that I pushed harder than anyone, knowing that I worked my ass off on holidays celebrations, birthdays, I busted my ass, and I still do. So the fact that you went behind my back and offered one of my best friends that shot, now don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at the fact that he's getting that shot. It's the fact that you went behind my back and didn't offer me that same exact shot that you offered him. Like, dude, do you not realize the shit that I've been through in the last 15 years, I have faced discrimination from labels, from other artists, from people in general, from my exes. I've faced every fucking form of discrimination and hate that I could possibly get sent my way. And what did I do? Instead of giving into it, I came out on top of it. I came out on top of that shit. And the fact that you got the balls to stab me in the fucking back like that, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? Because you know damn well, I am here in the fucking studio day and fucking night. Writing, recording, composing. Coming up with ideas. Helping other artists. Doing shit for myself. Promoting my shit. Doing shit I gotta do. I am... Eat, I have freaking eaten, slept, and breathed the fucking music industry lifestyle and lived my career and breathed my career every motherfucking day of my life since I started. When every motherfucker was asleep at night, what was I doing? Up busting my ass with little to no sleep. When me and you were working on that album Virus, what was I doing? I was up every fucking night, every motherfucking day, working my ass off, 
when you were asleep, I was busting my ass. For weeks at a time, I went with little to no sleep, busting my ass. Every fucking night and day, because I believed in what I was doing. So for you to not consider that hard work that I put in this entire time, like, don't you think that's kind of fucked up? The fact that I've busted my ass just to not even be able to make it onto a magazine, onto a literal magazine cover that could change my fucking life. Do you not realize that? Do you not realize that me getting my shit onto a magazine cover or even in a magazine would change everything for me? Do you not realize that? Or do you just not give a flying fuck about our friendship and everything that we've built? You know, when I started Killer Clown Sounds with you back in the day, man, I believed in it. I believed in what we did. Yeah, we went our separate ways and had our follies out, but we came back together to work on shit just like we always do. But this right here is far beyond any kind of friendship or brotherhood that we could have. The fact that you went behind my back and didn't give me a fair shot at that magazine cover, knowing that I worked my ass off, knowing that I worked hard at everything I do, knowing that I bust my ass when nobody else will. I mean, dude, who was there for you when you needed tracks and instrumentals? Who was there busting their ass, working hard on this shit for you, for every other fucking artist? Who was always putting you ahead of themselves? Who was always there putting the industry before themselves? That was me, dude. I was putting everyone, including you, ahead of myself. I put everything I wanted to do on hold because I believed in you and what me and you were doing as a team. Does that mean nothing to you? Does that not mean a goddamn thing to you, man? I mean, dude, I busted my fucking ass. I faced diversity. I faced discrimination. I faced being bashed on, being bullied, beat down. I faced judgment. And I do this shit and face it all on very little to no sleep every fucking day. I can sleep when I'm dead in the ground. But while I'm here on this fucking earth, I'm going to give 110% to my fucking career and what I believe in doing. Just as I've always done these last 15 years, man. So the fact that you didn't offer me the same opportunity that you offered my brother. Don't you think that's kind of fucked up, man? The fact that I busted my ass harder than any motherfucker out there. Both in the music industry, mainstream-wise and underground-wise. You know as well as I do that I have busted my ass and sacrificed fucking everything for this shit. I have made sacrifices that no one is willing to fucking make. And the fact that you went behind my back and didn't give me that same fair opportunity as everyone else that you've given it to, don't you think that's kind of fucked up? The one person that you know that has worked their fucking ass off harder than any motherfucker in the world. The one person that you know has honed their craft and stayed on top of quite a few websites for many years. Do you not realize, dude, that if I was to still go back on to my Reverb Nation and pick it back up, that I would literally be number one on there once again? Do you not realize that? Yeah, I might not have thousands and millions and millions of fucking views or plays, but so what? So uh, just because somebody has so many views and plays on their shit, you decide to give the opportunity to them instead of the one person that works their fucking ass off? The one person that you know has busted their ass since day one? Are you fucking kidding me, man? 
Because let me tell you something, man. If I seen you working hard, if I seen you, like, let's put it this way, dude. If I seen somebody that had more views than you, and but I seen you working hard every fucking day, just like I've worked hard, I'd give you the opportunity and not them. Because I could give a fuck about views. I could give a fuck about how many plays that person has. What I give a fuck about is hard ass work. What happened to that? What happened to saying fuck the views and all that shit? What happened to that? What happened to putting hard work and work ethic ahead of being famous on, you know, this and that or having this many views on this and that? What happened to that? You never used to be like that. What, now all of a sudden because... You're with a fucking record label that pays you. You feel like you have the right and that you're better than me? No, dude. You're the same as I am. You're the exact same as me, dude. We all bleed red at the end of the fucking day. Because let me tell you something, dude. I would kill. I would fucking kill to be on the cover of a fucking magazine. I would kill for that because you know what? Being on that cover would change everything for me in a fucking instant. A fucking instant. That would change everything for myself and my family. And you know damn well that I don't just do this shit for me or those like me. I do it for my family so I can provide for my fucking family. Because let me tell you something, dude. One thing I've noticed, man, is you've changed. You're not the same Eric that I once fucking knew, man. You used to always put family first. Always. I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to find out. But I know it's I know for sure that it's an underground magazine, like it's an underground one, but they're still pretty well known. But uh, as soon as I can find out, I will definitely let you know, man. But you know, dude, like I said, Eric, the fact that you turned your back on me and are turning out just like everything that you stood against, you used to be against, you know. Giving into the mainstream and giving into this and that. But now look at you, man. You're turning into the very thing that you swore to not, you know, be with Eric Scrublo. That's S K R U B B A L O. There's two different accounts. You can message them both. And like I said, Eric, I'm not mad at the fact that Ian got the shot. I'm happy for him. The kid deserves it. He's only 16 and busting ass. The dude's only 16 and doing very well for himself. He's already done two shows while I'm still trying to work on my first and trying to get a legitimate show done around here so I can showcase my true skill. But the fact that you had the balls to go behind my back. To go behind my back and betray our friendship and betray everything that we once stood for. You never once back then would have given in to the mainstream. Now look at you. All because you're signed to a label. You feel like you're better than me. But you're not better than me, dude. You will never be better than me. And I'm not saying that I'm better than you. What I'm saying is the fact that you are an equal to me. We are fucking equals. We are equals, man. We've always been equals. You need to think about that. You really do, man. You're not the same that you used to be. 
It's time to take a look in the mirror and look at everything that you've done.